In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I eat in a day. And these meals are very simple, so you can make them too. And this is also good for beginners if you're just starting to, you know, dip your feet into plant-based eating. These are very simple and I will be showing you all three meals. And if I do have a snack uh, in between, sometimes I do and it's usually fruit. So let's go ahead and jump in. And first things first, I did have my coffee this morning. We'll get into my first meal. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to have a smoothie for my first meal. And in my smoothie, I'll always have a plant-based milk and this week it is coconut milk usually i have almond milk i've tried soy milk uh and i don't know i just wasn't a fan of the taste but i'll be adding in some sprout living epic protein it is a vegan protein and i like to add in some goji berries i'll add in a few of those so I'll add in half a banana and some frozen blueberries. And for taste, I'll add some cinnamon. And I'll also add in some ground ginger. And I'm gonna use my Ninja blender here. So let's go ahead and get started with this. guys and this is a very simple simple ingredients and this should keep me full until my next meal so I'll be back to show you that all right I am back for my next meal which is my lunch so I'm going to show you what I'm having and keep in mind, I still follow the 50-50 starch solution way of eating, the way I set up my plate. Now, I don't always have it three times a day or whatever meals I have, I don't always have it split up that way. Like this morning for my smoothie, as you saw, it wasn't you know a plate set up that way i did have a protein i did have um, banana blueberries fruits and i did have some spinach so depending on how you want to look at that i mean it was just uh the protein and the fruit so that's my uh that was my first meal so now for my second meal of the day it will be sit set up as a 50 50 plate so you'll see here so let me go ahead and get started with showing you what i'm eating okay so here we go i'm going for my veggies i will have zucchini and some squash for my veggies and for my starch i will be having a sweet potato i prepared these yesterday i have one left for today and I'm going to have a little bit of beans as well in the mix. 
And on top of my beans, I love to put pico just to give them more flavor, even though I, I love beans. Beans have enough flavor on their own. And on top, I will be adding some nutritional yeast. I do have this mixed with everything but the bagel seasoning in there. So let me go ahead and get started with my plate. I usually give taste tests, sometimes I forget, but I definitely have to. I love zucchini and squash. Mm. Okay, and I will see you for my last meal, or if I do have a stack, I will be back to show you. Okay guys, I am back for my last meal. I didn't have any snacks in between. Not to say that I might not have one later, but I do also want to mention that what I eat keeps me full throughout the day. I don't feel hungry when I'm done eating, and if I do, I don't mind having seconds, but usually that doesn't happen just because I'm full with the vegetables. I mean, the, the vegetables are a lower calorie density food, so I can have a, my, you know, you saw my plate, half of veggies, and that is very filling for me. And I usually start out eating those first and then my beans or my starch, you know, however I choose to eat. But, you know, again, it's worked for me. I started eating this way. I'd say about two and a half months now, and I lost the last 10 pounds that I was trying to lose. And again, these last 10 pounds were really just stuck here in my you know, abdomen area, which I knew was very unhealthy. So I had lost so much weight doing keto, and then slowly it started coming back on, and then I would restrict, and then I lose it. It was a roller coaster ride. So I knew it was beginning to just be unhealthy. I wanted to find something that was just more sustainable and that made sense to me and my body. I started doing research on plant-based eating, and you know, weighing out the pros and cons to um, just the different fads, the different diets out there, and it just made more sense to me. And I don't want to knock any other way of eating per se, because you know, different diets work for different people. Some people might be extremely successful eating keto or carnivore, and I do you know, follow or I followed some people that it was very successful for and that's awesome. So, so far this has helped. I feel good. I don't feel deprived in any way. So far I'm loving it. I don't have to restrict in an unhealthy way and I don't miss animal-based products anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into dinner. Okay, so for my meal, I'm going to have a, I guess like a bean salad, and I'm gonna add some more black beans. I'm going to add some chickpeas, corn, cucumbers, and some tomatoes. And for flavoring, I'm gonna add in some salt, pepper, and some lime juice. 
and I will also add in some dill weed. Um, that gives it a little bit of a pickly taste. So let me go ahead and start on. Okay, guys, this is it. And of course, taste test here. I wanna thank you for being here, taking time out of your day to watch my videos. If you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up to help my channel. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Okay, until next time. Mm -hmm.